Rise the Tide, everybody. Joe Guam here. Happy day. Hey, listen, I want to give a big shout out uh, to my sponsors, Color, because this is this is called a D6, everybody. That's what they call it. It's a guitar lele or guitar lele. A couple of people to say it differently, but it's essentially an ukulele with six strings. It's kind of like a guitar. It sounds so full. And I just got this bad boy, and I've already written a song on it. So, Zeus Masi, mahalo to my Kolo Ohana, Hawaiian Ohana out there. Thank you guys. Uh, but hey, today I wanted to talk to you guys um, a little bit about should I take, if I'm a musician, should I take live requests at a gig, at a show? Um, if you're just new to the Rise of Tide episodes, welcome. Uh, Rise of Tide comes from the ancient Chinese um, notion or the ancient Chinese thought that high tide rises all ships. So what that means is instead of, um, you know, uh, instead of of just trying to rise your own ship uh, there's a thought that if you give to the community uh, then everybody can benefit and we all can all rise together so uh, my rise the tide contribution is to share with you guys uh, some of the tips and tricks and things that I've learned uh, over the years of being a musician so hope you guys enjoy this so should I if I'm a musician should I take live requests or if you're also thinking maybe um, you're 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 someone who goes to see you know musicians play uh, you know, and is it appropriate to give them live requests, live song requests while they're playing? Uh, so the first thing you have to think about if you're a musician and you're approaching this topic is number one, what is your your capability, right? So what is your musical capability? Um, if you're just starting out and maybe you watched like uh, my earlier episode where I talk about um, how many songs do you need to know to play a show and it's your first show mm -hmm. I, I said you know it's probably a good number to learn about 45 songs so if you're just starting out and you only really know and rehearsed 45 songs maybe it's not a good idea to actually petition the crowd um, for song requests live song requests while you're, you know while you're playing a show um, but if you've been playing for a while and you know a bunch of songs um, then then maybe you could give it a shot now why would somebody why would a musician actually ask for song requests well the goal there is as a musician when i stand behind the microphone um my goal is to connect with the audience and whether that's through music whether that's through a conversation or you know um uh do taking a live request and playing exactly what they want to hear um you know it's telling a joke some some musicians tell jokes in between their sets you know, whatever that is, our goal is to enhance the experience of the customer or of the audience member. So we want to be able to connect with the audience. So I, why would I take a live request? It's because I want to try and play what the audience wants to hear. So over the years, you know, I've learned a lot of songs. I've played a lot of songs. So taking a live request, there is a chance that I might know what they want to hear. Now, there's always that risk, right, that you may not know. Now we're not talking about the heckler or the audience member who, you know, who's shouting out some ridiculous song request. Like for example, you know, I play an ukulele, but sometimes we get these hecklers who shout, "Hey, can you play like Guns N' Roses or Nirvana?" I mean, you know, the, we're not talking about those. Leave those people out of the questions. They're just there to cause trouble. So what we're talking about the people who really genuinely are are interested in you, who love your music. Some people come up and they say, "Hey, man, you know." Um, I love the way you play the ukulele and would you be able to try to play this song because I love this song but I want to see how you can play it I want to see how your ukulele plays it so those are very very you know it's a very very cool thing to get those kinds of requests because they love how your musicianship is and they want to see if you can play one of their favorite songs so it's kind of an honor so so yeah should you take live requests well one you have to think about your capability do you feel comfortable in taking the risk that you you know you could potentially know the song number two you have to think about whether or not you want to engage in that conversation with your audience member and what do i mean by that so if you petition and say on the microphone does anybody have any requests um more than likely it, it's gonna come up eventually where you don't know the song you don't know the request that they want but over the years, I've learned that that's, it doesn't have to end there. So if someone says, yes, can you play this Beatles song and you don't know it, you can literally say, sorry, I don't know that song. Next. You know, it doesn't have to end there. Um, if someone requests, let's say they request a, um, 
you know, a Jack Johnson song, and you don't know that song, you can counter with uh, a song that you might know that's probably in the same gender. So it's pretty cool if like say, hey, someone says, hey, can you play a, a Jack Johnson song? You can turn around and be like, man, you know, I don't know that Jack Johnson song, but I do know this Jack Johnson song. And nine out of 10 times, maybe even 10 out of 10 times, they're gonna be like, man, I, yeah, I love that song too. Go ahead, I'd love to play, can you play that song for me? Uh, and then they feel, you know, they feel value. They feel like you've connected with them. Uh, or you can counter with a different artist that's somewhere similar. So if someone says, hey, you know, um, can you play, you know, this Journey song? And you'd be like, man, you know, I don't know that Journey song, but um, but I do know uh, this this Beatles song that's kind of similar. It's kind of a ballad, and, and they're like, oh man, I love that Beatles song too. Yeah, you can play that. So, you know, you have to think about your capability. Do you have a good repertoire of songs that you could possibly fit in the range of you know of what these people want to request? And number two, you have to think about. Are you ready to engage in that scenario with the customer, with your audience member? Meaning, are you ready to risk the fact that you could potentially not play the song, but you're willing to try and offer some songs that they know, right? Offer some uh, so songs that you know that, that they might also be familiar with. So some things to think about when you're taking live requests. Now, I wanna differentiate this live request from prior requests or qu requests given before the gig. Now, here's a great example. I'm scheduled to play a gig in a couple months from now. And they asked, they said, Joe, we really want you to play um, the uh, God Bless America song. Now I can play the national anthem. I totally know that song. I can play our Guam hymn, our, our Fanogi tomorrow, which is kind of like our Guam anthem. I could play that for sure. Um, God Bless America, I don't know that one too well. Uh, so, but I, you know, I said, yeah, I, th I think, I think I'm confident that I can learn it in the three months that I have. So taking a request for an event that you've been hired for beforehand, if you have the capability and you have the time, I, I say go for it. And if you feel like maybe it's out of your range or if it's a song that you feel like you can't perform, um, you know, you have time to reach back out to the client or the customer and say, hey, um, I gave this a shot, my best shot, and, I, and I'm not comfortable playing it. Maybe we can play it from a, a digital player or like an iPod or something like that. So just some things to think about. You know, what do you guys think about live requests? What do you think about, um, you know, if the musicians should take live requests? I'd love to hear from you. Please let me know in the comments or you can send me a private message or I could possibly learn something from you too if you share something with me in the comments. So, Zeus Moss, everybody. Rise the tide. Thanks for watching.